the referee. And we are underway here at the High of London. It's calm. Here's JJ Hooper now looking to turn away. Has Petrasso. A little give and go with the Canadian. And now this is promising for Barnett. He's got Mason Clark and McQueen in space. And he looks to cut back inside. And needs to get a shot away. On his left foot. Doesn't volleys it just over the bar. And Alexander McQueen was caught into two minds there. Whether just to go for goal on his left foot or, or find an option. Opted instead for just dallying on the ball and eventually firing over. But a real good opportunity for the Bees in the sixth minute of this game. Yeah, waited waited too long Aaron it was good bit of play from Barnett to to get the ball forward and McQueen gets into the box and he surely should have struck it a bit early gets a bit lucky with it bouncing back in his path in the volley high and wide but that's a good chance clear to say he doesn't favor his left foot over his right how do you change that mindset it's a difficult one it's a really difficult one it was sort of the job that Tim had from Mason Clark fires a goal and it's narrowly over Ryan Boots Goal there, sorry to cut you up, but it was worth cutting you up for a real sign of attacking intent from Efron Mason Clark there, fizzing a shot narrowly over Ryan Boots' crossbar. Yeah, it wasn't far away. Mason Clark going for goal early, just over the crossbar, but I think Boot was certainly worried about the strike. Aaron, back to that point you asked. It was the job that Tim Flowers was asked to come in. Here's the Solihull free kick in towards puddling at the far post but it actually drops for Cameron Archer whose effort is blocked by Eamon Azaz and goes out of play for a corner kick yeah the two of them just had peeled away Aaron and it was a chance from a, an acute angle and Eamon stands his ground at the near post and now have another chance from the corner Will be an in swing up. Three. Store up. Nice little one to Cranston. Low cross. It's a dangerous opportunity for Zolly on Morsby. Goes on to play for a goal kick on Wally. Mason Clark caught napping a little bit, Aaron, on our near side, and they picked up the space and he darted in behind. And thankfully for the bees, it didn't result in a shot on goal, but just no one tracking the runner. And it allowed them to get the ball into the box and in the end Huddle manager is appointed here at the Hive. Those players have got to prove themselves for a contract next year to this new manager. Soros crosses in towards the far post, headed away by Kefalas, going to drop here and it's sweetly struck. And it comes back again, corner kick for Solihull. Good block. It looked like it, looked like it could have just floated into the corner as Aids was obviously rooted. But it was a chance to the Moors. Drops here for Barnett. It's first time it effort is corner. Here comes another good delivery, and it's a great reaction save from Eamon Aze. He's not sure he knew too much about it, but Solihull will come again. Out towards Hudlin, headed away by Daly. Out to Stora now. Barnett just needs to get this clear, and is almost going to set away Antonis Vasilou. Cranston is across and plays it back to Boot, who will still be chased by the Bees 33. Confidently plays it out to his centre back, Usher Shipway. And now Solihull can rebuild again. It was good from Solihull. A couple of passes in there. They're right back on the front foot. Great reaction save from Azaz. I look forward to seeing the replay just to see how good it was. The young Belgian Algerian out quickly there. Take a look at that. Again, it's straight down towards his feet. He was in the right place. Whether he knew much about it is not. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say it was an outstanding reaction save. Effort is blocked by Vassal, who would have been some strike had that breached. Even as Aze's net crosses in, though. No, it's free header, and it's a goal there for Solihull Moors. Tyrone Williams opens the scoring. He was in a world of space in the middle of the penalty area. Let's put the visitors 1-0 up just before the break. It's a sloppy goal for Barnett to concede Aaron to concede from across and he picked up a space in between the centre-backs and it floated agonisingly past the despairing glove of Eamon Azaz. Take another look at that here. And it is instant impact from Jamie Ward with that cross. Inch perfect. 
A perfect header as well to match Tyrone Williams. Just, yeah, as you say, almost floating that header into that top corner. Nothing Eamon Azaz could do about it. Leading here at the Hive just before half-time. There's going to be another four added minutes to this first period for all those injuries. Up towards JJ Hooper, though. Solihull switching off momentarily and a good opportunity for Barnett to get immediately back into it towards the far post, but Boot is there. Have to maybe dig this one in. Oh, well, he has actually got the goal and almost catches out Boot. He certainly caught me off guard. I think it was a cross quickly to palm that one away. Corner kick for the bees. Good free kick from Anthony Wordsworth. He's forced Boot into a, a decent stop. I think it's a save again that Boot would expect to make Aaron, but he caught everyone a little bit unawares and good parry. Corner is in towards Daly at the far post. Heads it back towards Hudlin. Daly claims that it hits Hudlin's arm, but it's waved away. Solihull come forward once more. Here's Sparrow. Looks to get a shot away. Zayz is down low. About a shot there momentarily. Needs to get a cross in. Being ushered out towards the corner flag by Cranston. He does He's win a corner. He's done really, really well there, Femis Kefalas, to win that corner because it looked like it was going to be a lost cause. And he does well just to, to steal the corner from what almost looks certain to be almost a free kick for Solihull or a goal kick. Let's hope he can get his head on it and round it off. Vassalou again with this one. Towards the far post. He has Preston unmarked and backwards header there from Ephraim Mason Clark. Strikes the post. Could have been some header, that one. It was decent chance actually for Barney. Obviously a tight angle. They do well to Preston does well to peel off at the back post and Mason Clark's header, yeah, as you say, strikes the upright. Close from the bees. It was a good set piece delivery from Antonis Vasiliu as well. Yeah, he's taken charge of the corner kicks, it looks like, following the departure of Anthony Wordsworth. And yeah, before. A little bit of trouble here for the Bees. The referee's playing on advantage. Everyone switched off. There's questions being asked. But it's it's a goal. It's, it's, it's confused everyone. Everyone paused play for the man who was down, but it's 2-0. To Solihull, who have carried on. Well, the only argument you can make for the officials is that if that's come off a Barnet man, that's a deliberate play of the ball and is a new phase, and the Solihull man's onside. Everyone stopped. Yeah, we'll take another look at that. Zayz has played it short. It's come back. There's a foul. If that's, I mean, yeah, if that's come off of a solid hole man, he's offside. It's Kyle Hudlin who's put the finish in. But I think the Barnet complaints are that it's come off a, of a solid hole man and not not a Barnet man. The replay. In which case, he's five, six, ten yards offside. Is is. Is Hudlin, but it's two new in, in controversial circumstances, I guess. Then Harry Taylor now just needs a teammate, needs an option, doesn't want to pass it back, but is forced to all the way back to Daly. Daly has to play it across to Kevalas, who's just lost possession here. And then trips he his could man. Be in he could be in trouble. Referee is just going to have a think of this, and he's off. Themis Kefalas afternoon is done. There's plenty of options here. Ward gets a shot away, and it's agonising wide of far post, almost creeping in. The experience of Jamie Ward showing that. We are going to see a final change for Solihull Moors here. Would have been a fantastic strike, Aaron. They break patiently, and you always knew once Jamie Ward got the ball, what he was going to do, and he nearly rifles it into Azaz's top corner. Uh, again, never really mounted some sustained pressure, and Solihull deservedly have taken the points. It's a professional performance from the Moors, who, as you say, will take all three points.
from this afternoon's fixture.